Okay, today we are showing you how to make a side dish that is incredible. It's what we call garlic cauliflower mashed potatoes. You can obviously go easy or not add the garlic if you don't want to, but we happen to love garlic and we're gonna add it. And this recipe is an amazing side dish to today, to our roast, and it's gonna be awesome. You can also have it as a side dish to chicken, fish, salmon, turkey. It's just incredible. And adding the cauliflower and substitute for half of the potatoes makes it so much more healthy for you. And it feels a lot lighter eating as well. Once you have cauliflower mashed potatoes, it's really hard to go back to just regular mashed potatoes. What she's done already is wash all the vegetables. So what she's doing there is just kind of cutting out the stem and she's gonna cut it into all about one inch pieces. Let's get going on this recipe. Okay, and for this recipe, we like to use red potatoes. You can peel them if you'd like to. We like to just wash them and leave the skin on. We've got about six potatoes this size. Let's dice them up. So on the ratio, we tend to lean towards a 60-40 with potatoes to cauliflower. As you can see, there's just slightly more potatoes. That's just the consistency that we've found tastes really, really good. Okay, once you got those two things in your pot, what you're gonna do is fill it up with water one inch above your potatoes and cauliflower. So there you go. The water is about one inch above. Okay, so we put it on high to bring it to a boil. Then what you wanna do is turn it to medium high, otherwise it'll boil over for about 25 minutes. Okay, so with those ingredients, just an FYI, that's gonna feed about six to eight people. We always do this because we tend to have a lot of people eating or we want the leftovers. So with that, if you're only feeding two to four people, you can cut this entire recipe in half. Okay, it finally came to a boil. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it down to medium high and then we'll set that timer. Okay, the timer went off. We're gonna go ahead and take this over and pour it into the strainer. Okay, all the water's drained out. Now we're gonna put them right back into the pot. Okay, so now we're gonna mash them up. Now this comes down to preference. We particularly like a chunkier mashed potatoes. So we don't get too crazy with mashing them up down to like the perfect consistency of KFC mashed potatoes. We like that chunkier, chunkier blend. Then we'll grab that quarter cup of sour cream. Then we're gonna take a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Then we're gonna grab our cloves of garlic. These happen to be fairly large cloves and we've got five of them. And this is gonna give us a pretty strong garlic taste to the recipe. We 
what you're going to do is press them. This happens to be a Pampered Chef garlic press. Then you're gonna take two cups of milk. We happen to use whole milk. So now when adding the milk, you gotta go off a of consistency. It might not take that full two cups. So you gotta do mm -hmm. a little bit, stir, add a little bit to get to that perfect consistency. So that's a perfect consistency for us. We only used one cup of milk. And that's it. It's super ready for a plate and some consumption. So just to let you know, we go a little bit light on the salt and pepper for ingredients purposes. You can add a little bit more salt and pepper to your liking. The way I like doing it, I'll take a chunk of meat and I'll dip it down into my mashed potatoes and juices and take that bite combined. Mmm. Nothing like a slow cooked crock pot roast with garlic cauliflower mashed potatoes. This right here is a feast fit for a king. And just as a quick reminder, if you're watching the garlic cauliflower mashed potatoes recipe, I'll leave a link to the slow cooker roast recipe at the end of that video. And if you're watching the other video, vice versa. If you guys like homestead tips and occasional great homestead recipes like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. We'll see you guys on the next one.